In this video, we'll use the cluster functionality of the Anaconda platform to create an 8-node cluster, load approximately 1 terabyte of text data into distributed SQL engines, query the data with Blaze, and interactively visualize the data with Bokeh. First, we'll create and provision a cloud-based cluster with 8 nodes on Amazon EC2. The process is similar for provisioning an on-site cluster a bare metal cluster, or even a collection of virtual machines. I have Anaconda Cluster installed on my laptop, which I'll refer to as the client machine. Anaconda Cluster provides a command line interface to create and manage cluster nodes. I can use the A cluster command to view a list of subcommands to use with Anaconda Cluster. So to create a cluster, I'll need to specify the details in two configuration files called providers and profiles. I can use the a cluster list providers command to show the provider that I've configured. This provider is called AWS East and contains information about the cloud provider to use, the name and location of the key file, Amazon Web Services credentials, and the security group to use for my cluster nodes. I can use the a cluster list profiles command to show the profile that I've configured. This profile contains information about the size and number of the cluster nodes to create, the image to use for each node, plugins to install, like Hadoop Distributed File System, Hive, Impala, and the Jupyter Notebook. It also contains information about which provider to use, which we showed above, the root volume size, which is one terabyte here, and the user on the cluster nodes. Now that we've created a provider and profile, we're ready to create an 8-node cluster using the a cluster create command. And I can specify the name of the cluster. Here it'll be cluster demo. And we refer to the profile that I created above. After we execute that command, over the next few minutes, the cluster will be created and the plugins that we've defined will be installed on all of the cluster nodes. Now we've created an 8-node cluster on Amazon EC2 using the a cluster create command, and we've installed the plugins that we've specified. Now we're ready to move and load the data onto the cluster nodes. Now that we have a cluster running with HDFS, Hive, and Impala, we can move the data onto the cluster nodes. Hive and Impala are distributed SQL engines that we'll be using to query the data with the cluster nodes. The data set that we're using contains approximately 1.7 billion comments from the reddit.com website between the dates of October 2007 and May 2015. The raw data is in JSON format, is about 975 gigabytes uncompressed, and contains one entry per line with the body of the post, the author, timestamp, and other fields. Anaconda Cluster contains functionality that helps us move and load the data onto the cluster nodes. So we'll show you that process now. First, we loaded the entire data set into an Amazon S3 bucket. These are the raw JSON files. Then we copied the data onto the Hadoop distributed file system on the cluster nodes using the Hadoop discp command. This copies the files using a MapReduce job. Then we loaded the data into Hive along with a serializer deserializer module that allows Hive to read data in JSON format. We converted the data into the Parquet format, which is a compressed columnar store that allows for better performance than raw JSON files. Finally, we loaded the data into Impala. Once the data is loaded into Hive and Impala, we can use Blaze to interactively query the data using consistent syntax and expressions between multiple backends. Now that we've loaded the data onto the cluster nodes, we can disconnect from the cluster and work from our local machine. From our local machine, we can use Blaze to perform queries on the data that will be executed on the remote cluster nodes. First, we'll load some packages on our local machine using the Conda Package Manager. We can use a Conda environment file to create a new Conda environment with the required packages. Note that I could also use a command in Anaconda cluster to push the environment and packages 
to all of the cluster nodes and work from the cluster instead. I'm showing the environment file that we're going to use, which contains information about the name of the environment, here it's Blaze, the conda channels to download packages from, also the Blaze channel, and the packages themselves, which include Python 2.7, Blaze and Bokeh to query and visualize the data, and Impala and PyHive, which allow Blaze to communicate with the Hive and Impala servers. I can use the conda env create command to create a new conda environment based on the environment.yaml file with these packages. Finally, I can activate this new environment and any Python, IPython shell, or Jupyter notebook that started from this environment will include the Python dependencies. Now that we've created and activated a local environment using the Conda Package Manager, we can open a notebook on our local machine to interactively query the data on the cluster using Blaze. First, we'll start the Jupyter Notebook server and open the Blaze Impala Notebook. We'll go ahead and run all of the queries in this notebook, then walk through the results. While the queries are running, we can look at some of the results, starting from the Data Analysis and Queries section. First, we import the Python libraries that we installed on our local environment, including Blaze, Pandas, and Bokeh. Next, we can query the data in Hive using Blaze. So we point Blaze to the IP address of the Hive server and the Reddit Parquet table, which contains the data. We can use dshape in Blaze to show the columns in the dataset. Then we can count the total of number of comments in the dataset using Blaze and Hive. So here we're using the dot count expression in Blaze. This will not actually execute anything on Hive, but it's an expression that we can build upon and use the BZ compute syntax to perform the query. We can see the SQL that was generated by Blaze. In a previous run, we ran this query against Hive and it took about four and a half minutes. We can get improved performance if we query the data in Impala using Blaze. So here we point Blaze to the IP address of the Impala server and the Reddit Parquet table. And here we can count the total number of comments using Blaze. So I'll run these queries. First, we build the lazy expression. Then we can show the SQL that's going to be executed on the Impala server. And then we actually perform the query here. And here, after a few seconds, we get a result. After about six seconds, the results show the total number of comments in the data set is about 1.7 billion. We can also count the total number of upvotes in the data set. So here, this query ran similar to the previous ones. We see the total number of upvotes after about four or five seconds is 8.72 billion. We can also filter on the data. So we can show the number of comments in the soccer subreddit. So here, after about five or six seconds, we see the total number of comments in the soccer subreddit is about 11.6 million. We can also list the top 10 subreddits by comments. So here we're using a group by and sort operation in Blaze. So we're grouping by the subreddit and then sorting by the number of posts. And we convert this to a data frame using Odo and Blaze. We can see from the results that the top subreddit with the most comments is Ask Reddit with about 185 million comments. And this was generated after about 30 seconds. We can then count the total number of comments before a specific hour. This query shows the number of comments before 1 p.m. UTC time. So here we see after about seven seconds, the total number of comments posted before 1 p.m. is about 739 million, or about 45% of the total comments. And finally, we can plot the daily frequency of comments in the IAMA subreddit. So here we're filtering comments from the IAMA subreddit we're then doing some transformations in Blaze to create an index and a time series that we'll use for the plot. And finally, in Bokeh, we can plot the results and we get an interactive plot of all of the comments frequency by day in the I am a subreddit. So we can zoom in to see when the subreddit was first created, number of comments, and then we can look at that over time up to May 2015. 
and this allows us to interactively explore the data in our browser. So in summary, we used Anaconda Cluster to create and provision machines on Amazon EC2 with the HDFS, Hive, and Impala plugins. We can also manage an in-house or bare metal cluster using Anaconda Cluster. We used Blaze to build queries and inter interactively explore the data in different storage backends, in this case Hive and Impala. We're able to run this analysis in a notebook on our local machine and interactively construct Blaze expressions, explore this data set with 1.7 billion comments, and generate interactive plots, whereas the actual queries were executed on the cluster nodes using the Hive and Impala distributed SQL engines. The Anaconda platform, including the Anaconda Python distribution, the Conda package manager, the cluster functionality, as well as some of the tools in the Blaze ecosystem, provided us with a complete data analysis platform and gave us the flexibility of interacting with the remote data from our local machine while leveraging the performance of the cluster.